the Hat Man, other than being a better name than Master J, but then again literally anything is, begins very quickly, invasively and progressively by asking you if you want to be a mother or a father. You receive a letter from the hospital where your daughter is being treated saying that she's escaped and that you shouldn't come look for her. So using his extensive detective experience, our main character decides to fuck that and come anyway. He begins his search very intelligently in the hospital that his daughter had escaped from. In terms of graphics, so far things look pretty sweet, that blue sky, the tree, chair, but it's when looking at these graphics around the hospital that you start to realise that things are not quite what they seem. The biggest clue being these newspaper articles reporting on ghost sightings for example, I mean how often does the media do that? Wow this hospital sure does love this one picture, and so does your daughter too apparently because she keeps it right next to her bed next to a creepy sentient talking diary. Surprisingly everybody was there today, nobody killed themselves. That makes it a good day. Great, so be careful because we wouldn't want to ruin that day now, would we? Too late, I found the credits room. Way to destroy every piece of your game's immersion, guys. Might as well just stick a giant flashing sign on my HUD screaming you're playing a fucking game. I'm not denying the fact that this is obviously a horror game because... <laughs> It sure is horrible, am I right? It's just that it's a dark forest away from being a complete reskin of Slender. Which is absolutely fine considering that Slender was created around a myth and all they had to work with was some photos and forum posts, so there was at least a reason for it to exist. But here they have whatever the fuck. <gasps> that thing is. And because a lot like Slender, there's a thing based on the Shadow People legend, that's incredibly creative of you, all the edgy pseudo ghost hunters out there flock to this game like sheep to an apple store in that the game has developed quite the little fan base. But let me break it nicely to you guys. The game is awful, stop denying it. The only thing it sells itself on, and I mean the only thing, is that the levels are procedurally generated. Which is great, right? Because it adds infinite replayability. You can play it forever without it ever being the same, yeah, no thanks. Although bonus points for ripping that straight from Grave Encounters, I'm sure that was very challenging. I'm sure I really don't need to say this, but believe it or not, the game actually isn't really that scary either, especially since the only scare in this game is this one light falling from the ceiling. To be fair though, if you're quick and there's no reason not to be, you can finish the game in about 30 minutes, but that's still 30 minutes I'd rather have spent killing myself. <laughs>